Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Let us reveal the sites of Western Armenia in the Karamagara Bay of Cilicia. The Artsakh Parliament has published a draft law on occupied territories. Figaro magazine. EU silently confirms Baku's culture genocide in Artsakh. The biggest weapon after speech is musical instrument. Manu Karutunyan. In Mardino, Western Armenia, two blocks are forcibly demolished and a decision was made on immediate alienation. The Union of Artists of Armenia will celebrate the 19th anniversary of its foundation this year. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. Karamagara Bay of Western Armenia, known in history as one of the secret strongholds of pirates of Eastern Mediterranean Sea, will soon become one of the attractive tourist destinations of our historical homeland. In the initial period, the role will be widened on the territory of the bay, which is dangerous due to its narrow and inclined position. It is planned to build a diving center, guest houses and public beach and a port, thanks to which more local and foreign tourists will visit the resort. The rich cuisine of Hata Cilicia will also satisfy guests. There will also be viewing platforms where people can admire the unique view of the sea and nature. Karamagara Bay is really a wonderful place. Dear compatriots, children of Western Armenia, if you want to see the beauty of nature closer and enjoy the sea, then this is the, exactly the place you are looking for. The National Assembly of Republic of Artsakh has published a draft law on occupied territories. The draft law established the legal status of territories seized as a result of Azerbaijan's military aggression against the Republic of Artsakh in 1991-1994 and 2016 and with the direct participation of the Republic of Azerbaijan and foreign armed terrorists in 2020 and a special legal regime specified as activities of state administration and local self-government bodies, organizations, human and civil rights and freedom items, such as the relation related to the protection of the rights and interests of legal entities. You can read more about the project following the link on our official website. The European Union turns a blind eye to the ongoing cultural genocide in Artsakh by Azerbaijan. The deputy editor-in-chief in Ligaro, Jen Christoph Buisson, wrote about this in his microblog on Twitter. The government of EU countries, as well as UNESCO, do not react in any way to the cultural genocide carried out by Azerbaijan against the Armenian heritage of Artsakh, the journalist noted. He quoted European Union for Enlargement and Neighborhood Policy, Oliver Varche, who said in Baku that the EU welcomes the partnership with Azerbaijan. The deputy head of Li Figaro also pointed to Azerbaijan's planned destruction of the Armenian heritage in Artsakh, noting as an example the statement of the Minister of Culture of Azerbaijan to eliminate false inscriptions made by Armenians on Albanian religious temples. A working group has been created to recognize Albanian history and architecture. On Western Armenia TV, as part of Arts and Crafts program Western Armenia, we visited a musician Manu Karutunyan, who was preparing musical instruments. The devastated and rich roots of his grandfather go back to beautiful cities of Western Armenia, Mush, Kars, Basen and Erzurum, and carrying a great love for the national music, he created the Manjut instrument, known all over the world. He spoke about the history of Armenian musical instruments, noting that for him, the violin is definitely Armenian, attaching importance to the role of new generation by its preservation, use of the study of ancient Armenian musical instruments, he urged parents to seriously engage in musical education of children, attend classical concerts more often, teach children to listen to highly artistic music and understand the musical language. The Yeshilo of Mardin province of Western Armenia was declared a risky zone by the decision of Council of Ministers in 2016, and an urgent alienation decision was made by Gal and Tabe Bash quarters within the framework of urban transformation program. In this area, demolition of buildings began in January 2021 without a consent of owners. Residents of the block tried to prohibit the demolition of their homes, but the police forcibly evacuated them. Citizens who did not leave their homes are derived of electricity and water supply. Some of them were forcibly driven by the police. Most likely, the residents of Quarter said that they are against the agreement, arguing that the development program contradicts the historical and architectural structure of the Quarter. However, in this uncertain state, the Ministry has already announced a tender for the construction of 175 residential buildings, six shops and escaping in the blocks. 
In autumn, the Union of Artists of Armenia will hold anniversary events on the occasion of 19th anniversary of the Union, and before that, the first exhibition of this year will present the works of pupils of Academy of Arts, was recently opened in exhibition hall of the Union. Every year, the Union of Artists presents dozens of new exhibitions of art lovers. This large-scale student exhibition will be followed by another, a rating exhibition, which is also organized annually. This year, it will open on February 10. According to the Chairman of Union of Artists, exhibition abroad are also planned. Dear followers, citizens of Western Armenia, patriotic devoted people, the State TV Company of Western Armenia appeals to all of you. We are not engaged in self-promotion, but represent our history, our culture, and known and well-known corners of our homeland. Now more than ever, we need national unity and the creation of our national agenda. The goal all of us is to see a free, independent, and united Armenia, a small cell of which we carry each of us. The material support of each of you will be the key of moving forward and contributing to the welfare of our homeland. Our struggle is long-lasting and difficult, but the result will undoubtedly be victorious. Together we can do more. You can help the State TV Company of Western Armenia with a following link on our official website. Now the musical part, Armenian Folk Song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.